Hi, my name is Dr. Sushila Kataria. Today, I'll be talking on the chronic effects of air pollution on human health. If we think pollution is just about some coughing and eye irritation, then it is not so. Pollution can lead to a lot of effects on your body even after you are not being exposed to the air pollution. Why is it so? Because the particulates, the pollutants or the air pollution particles goes into your lungs. Through the lungs, it gets into the blood circulation and then it becomes part of your body. Because of the pollutants, there is an environment of chronic mild inflammation. Inflammation means there is something the body is raw or things are inflamed or there is a swelling inside the body tissue. A chronic inflammation can affect your body from head to toe, from brain to the lungs to heart to your joints, everything. The chronic effects of air pollution are more so on the vulnerable population, which is unborn children, small children, pregnant women and elderly people. Any people who's already suffering from a disease, the effect of pollution gets multiplied. The disease becomes more aggressive, more exacerbations. So if I talk about the brain, then the chronic effects of pollution on the brain can range from mild irritability, anxiety, depression. It can even lead to memory loss, which is called dementia. Parkinson can happen. And the rate of happening of a stroke or atherosclerotic disease where the blood supply to your brains gets affected is seen more in people who are being exposed to air pollution currently or in past. When we talk about lungs, because lungs are the first organ which gets in contact with the air pollution for the first time. You inhale polluted air, it goes to your lungs for the first time. So when lungs gets affected because of the pollution, on a long term, what happens to the lungs? If it is a small children, then the growth of lungs will get affected. They do not attain their full capacity, lung capacity. There can be damage to the lungs in the form of chronic obstructive pulmonary airway disease or in short we can say COPD. Asthma can happen. Pollution is cause of malignancies everywhere in the body and it is understandable more in the lungs because the biggest brunt of pollution, air pollution is borne by the lungs. So lung cancer, even laryngeal cancers, bronchitis, asthma, all this can happen because of the long term effects of pollution on the lungs. Heart is another important organ of the body which bears the brunt of pol uh, air pollution. So the chronic effects of pollution on the heart could be hypertension which is increase in your blood pressure. It can also lead to narrowing of the arteries because of the cholesterol deposition and the chronic inflammatory process which I just spoke about. So this can lead to heart attacks which we call myocardial infarction. The heart rhythm can also go irregular, arrhythmias sometimes very irregular heartbeat, too slow, too fast or too irregular. All this can happen because of the pollution. Even in the skins, the aging becomes very fast. The joints can get rheumatoid arthritis, which is an inflammatory condition. The chances of fatty liver disease, the chances of diabetes, all this can increase because of the merely chronic exposure to air pollution and because the pollution has become a part of your body. In pregnant women, it can lead to premature birth, small babies born, which we call IUGR. All this can happen because of the long-term standing effects of air pollution. So this is a time we have to take action to make our air better and breathable so that we can be healthy and we can be happy. Take care of your air. The action has to be taken now and all the times. Thank you very much. Swastrahiye, mastrahiye.